everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Uh, I know it's been a little bit, but I wanted to drop you guys a little video, a uh, little message on what's going on, status with the truck, uh, how's everything been after the update or the Air Dog install. Um, so everything went pretty good. Uh, Air Dog is running fine. I have no problems with it. Actually, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, my miles per gallon went up. I got about an extra mile and a half to the. Uh, Per gallon extra out of it which is good I'm expecting it to get a little better once I uh, do the f original fuel filter delete and get the little block put that in uh, everything is going fine though so air dog is good um, air dog 2 4g uh, 165 gallons per hour I'm really enjoying it so uh, yeah if you guys got questions about it uh, a lot of you guys have been watching the videos on the air dogs and all of, all the other pre previous videos um, if you have been thank you so much for all the new people who subscribed recently, um, I've had a little surge of subscribers go up. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So, reason why I'm making this video today is because I wanted to talk about something I got to change on the Cummins. Uh, I'm not too happy about it, but you know, with every performance update or with, yeah, whatever with every performance mod, you got to do something preventative for it. You know, so I know I was talking about head studs and whatnot, but I'm gonna have to put that on a little hold for now because uh, after doing some research and uh, driving the truck and stuff, and it's been going on for a while, probably since I've owned it, but it's gotten to the point where it's getting pretty bad. Uh, my wheel bearings, mainly the front one, front and left, uh, I gotta change it out. It has to go. Uh, it's a rough rider. It's uh, affecting the tire. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit uh, what it looks like, but yeah, it's pretty much affecting it. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, I've done wheel bearings before, they're not a hard job, but nonetheless, it sucks when you have to put money towards something like that, it, when you really want to put it towards something like, you know, parts and whatnot, but it is what it is, so it's not a big deal, uh, it's just some one more thing along Expecting the line, it to ride a lot it's, uh, smoother and a lot less <laughs> gritty and loud and, and stuff like that, so I'm looking forward to it, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about, uh, I don't have it up on a jack, but I'll tell you, I'll show it to you show you the tire show you what it looks like and then tell you and describe to you what's going okay, on okay so looking at the tire uh, I don't know if it looks like it probably looks like blue light is on right now but it's actually supposed to be the clear so right now the tires are wearing unevenly um oh sorry my bad tires are wearing unevenly so if you if you look at it I'm trying to get you guys a good view alright so if you look this section wears thinner than this section all right, it's higher up, and it's every other one is doing that. So really, the tires only it looks as if the tires are only riding on a selective part of uh, the tread. So I know that's not right. Uh, I mean, I, shoot, you can look at it right there, you know, and you see this one's low, this one's high, low, and it just goes back and forth. I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, well, you're riding on mud terrains, you know, it's kind of expected, and that is a cheap brand tire, Federal Carrages. It is, but. I know for a fact it was bearing shot. Um, when I drive, it's you can hear you can hear the whining. It's like a it sounds like a tank tra like the tracks on a tank or like a tractor or something. The tracks on it it just sounds like a gritty, just eh, just like almost like a grinding sound. And it's not the caliper, it's not the rotor. So I know that's good. Um, it's it's the wheel bearing. You know, I should have changed it probably a long time ago, but now it's gotten to the point where it it just needs to get done. You know, so. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the next thing. It's not a hard job. Um, I've done them before, like I said previously. So I'm looking forward to doing it. Uh, hopefully, I can get them on order sometime this week to be able to change them out. Uh, but, yeah, because I can't. These tires, you know, the back tires are fine. You know, they're right where they need to be. But and the other one on this side, passenger side, she's fine. But it's that driver's side. She's wearing, she's wearing almost... It's similar, like pretty good, you know, even where for the most part. Uh, I do need a new alignment. I gotta get an alignment because I need one for sure. Uh, some spots on here are pretty bad too. Like here, it's pretty much, uh, it's almost flush with this right here, you know. So it does need an alignment. Um, ball joints, tie rods are all good. I upgraded all of them last summer. So I know that's not going to be the issue. I grease them like every 5,000 miles. Uh, what else but yeah so I'm gonna end up doing the wheel bearings in pairs and then along with that when I do the wheel bearings I'm also gonna do the uh, the U-joints for the axles so get those uh, 
what are they, bushings, I think, I think or bearings, or, uh, bushings or bearings, something like that, but I'm going to go ahead and swap out those joints too for the, uh, for the axles, get those swapped out and it'll be nice and good. So once I get that, after that I want to change up the steering box to be able to put that redhead or red top steering box, whatever it's called, on here. Apparently those are really nice, so I've already priced one out and I found one for a, a, a good, uh, a good price, you know. So I'm looking forward to it, uh, but definitely so. Yes, sir. But that is all I wanted to really talk about in this video. Uh, no cool updates, you know, no installs and stuff like that. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of work and stuff like that. So, you know. Okay, guys. So one more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I have a lot of new subscribers and not a lot of new viewers. Uh, please, I highly recommend checking out my last, not last, but my other video where I talk about uh, if you need injectors and stuff like that. Um, reason being is because my buddy, who's do who does the injectors, Jeremy, he has his website. It should be up now, if not soon, like within the next few days. But he gave me a personal promo code for you guys. So if you guys want to get work done, if you use the promo code, you're gonna get an extra five percent off of the already good deals you'll be getting from Jeremy. So I'm gonna drop that. Uh, I'm gonna drop that promo code down below in the comments, and I'll probably put it like here on the screen. Uh, it's gonna be everything. That's the promo code. So like the first part of the youth channel name. So it's like everything diesel. It's just going to be everything. And that's going to be a promo code. And that's going to give you 5% off of any type of injector work, turbo work you want to get done. Um, watch that video though. I highly encourage watching it. So that way you can get uh, the insight and get the real deal when it comes to if you want good injectors, if you want good turbo work done for your truck and not have to spend a crap ton of money. So I highly encourage it. Um, I've had people on Instagram messaging me and stuff telling me thank you for that for that link. It, you know, it helped out a lot. So if I highly recommend it if you guys uh, want some injectors, if you want some turbo work done, you know, you don't have to go out and buy brand new turbo, brand new injectors unless you want to, you know, because it's your money. But if you want to save money like most of us do, then I highly recommend checking that stuff out because you guys are going to really enjoy it. All right. So once again, thank you guys so much for everybody who's been watching my videos. Um, I can tell the way the channel is going. Uh, you guys really enjoy the install videos I've done, you know, with the grid heater delete, uh, rail plug install, uh, air dog install. I can tell you guys really like those videos. So I'm going to keep trying to get those install videos like that going. Uh, obviously, you guys should know it costs money. And if you got a family bills and stuff like that, you can't put your truck first over all that stuff. So you got to take care of, you know, prioritize. So, uh, Definitely though, but we will be having more installs coming on to the channel. Um, it's just a matter of time, you know, so be patient with me. I thank you guys so much for watching these videos, giving me the thumbs up. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, do it again. Give me a thumbs up because those thumbs up have been helping get my, my videos out there on YouTube and people have been watching it and stuff. So thank you guys so much for being able to do that for me because I really appreciate it. You know, uh, I'm not trying to knock, I'm not, I'm not going to knock on anybody or anything, but making videos is... It's not hard, but it's also it's time consuming. Put it like that. Uh, if you want good quality, good product, it, it puts it, you know it's, you got to put a little effort into it. You can't just walk out there with your cell phone, record it, and you know slap it on YouTube because people might not watch it. You know they might not like the quality, the content, whatever it may be. So it's it's a little bit of work that goes into making these videos. So nonetheless, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Let me know what you feel about this video, um, previous ones. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel for more updates. You do that every time I put a video out and you hit that bell notification, you're going to get a notification that I threw up something on, uh, on YouTube for a video. So I really appreciate it so much. Until next time, which is hopefully soon, you guys take care. Be safe. God bless and peace out.